demand an explanation. Excuse me? Your prompt attention to this matter is insincerely appreciated. Please accept our insincerest apology. Yours insincerely. I'm sorry, Miss Flannery. You better be. I'm docking you a dollar. A dollar? Insincere trust? Jimmy, leave me alone. Personal matter. Not on company time! Not another dollar! <sighs> Sincere trust? Jimmy, we have nothing more to say to each other! Deal, Mount? I didn't ask him to call. I don't want him to call. I never want to speak to Jimmy Smith again! Good, forget the boys, Deal, Mount. Get yourself a canary. No canary in a cage for me! This canary's ready to play me! Cut the cord! That a man who wants a door He's not the fun of now The cross, no gray block The double cross, sir Forget about the boy Pull the plug Ain't he the one to pull the rug He's not the fun of now before I finally answered it myself. Not pleased, not at all pleased. Where's Flannery? Back, Back to work. work. Not so fast, John. I want to work with you alone. Another crisis, Mr. Graydon. A big one. That last batch of carbon paper was not up to snuff. Write a memo to the head of supply. Read his beads. Read beads. Pin his ears back. Pin ears. Really go after him. Really go after him. Oh, Mr. G. Who? You. Do you have a mo? A what? A moment. 
I would love to get a man's opinion of Rudolph Valentino. Okay. See, in the Sheiky Takes Agnes airs by brute force, and she enjoys it. She enjoys it a lot. <laughs> so, Mr. Graydon, what is your opinion of brute force? I'm not for it. Not for it at all. That's not what women really want these days. Give them a young man they can trust. Tom Sawyer at 20. I never read Tom Sawyer. Was he sexy? He was 12. <laughs> well, if you got it, you got it. I got it. Millie, we have to talk about last night. In case you didn't get the message by my slamming the phone in your ear, let's forget last night ever even happened. You can't be serious. Leave her off! What, what uh, lovely elbows you have, Miss Flannery. From my mother's side of the family. <laughs> the Boggs girls were always noted for their elbows. I can see why. Well, my Barney was always partial to them. Then again, you and T are so much alike. Well, get out of here. She never wants to see you again. That can't be true. You better believe it, Mr. Man. Millie! Thank you, Miss Flannery. Peg. Peg. <laughs> well, Millie, I hate to bother you with the office, uh, but... More research on how the other half lives? Uh, I... Yet, you mean at Muzzy's party, you mean? Wasn't it heaven? Who knew how soon I'd be plunged into the depths of Hades? Funny thing about remorse. Oh, Millie, I feel so dirty. He, he had this peculiar look on his face and he went to grab my hands, only he wasn't... My hands he wanted to shake, he... He, he pounced. I, I couldn't breathe. He takes your breath away. I felt... In the pit of your stomach? My knees buckled. No wonder you couldn't stop him. For all you knew, I was going to marry my boss. You mean you're not? I most certainly am. Oh, Miss Dorothy, promise me no man will ever come between us. As if anybody could take the place of my best friend. But what has that got to do with my audition for David Belasco? Oh, that was this morning. How'd it go? Fine, until he pounced. Him too? Boy, you've really been through it. Do I look like the sort of girl who would allow a man to take liberties? You look helpless, which, as far as men are concerned, is even better. They think they can get away with it. Well, take a page from my book, Miss Dorothy. Callous up. Higher heels, shorter skirts, and you're not gonna like this. Cut your hair. Cut my hair? No more little girl lost in the lion's den. What I'm offering you is the fashion equivalent of a whip in a chair. Tame the beast. No time like the present, Miss Dorothy. John, be a good old scout and ring up my handball court. Reserve a court for 615, will ya? Gotta work up a good sweat. Edgy in the gut. Tighten up. Oh, sweet mystery of life. At last I found thee. A handball court for 615. I know what last the sea is all in all. Handball. Better than that? I'll hold. I have a very strange feeling I never felt before. It is a kind of a kind of depression. My heart's acting strangely, it feels rather sore. At least it gives me that impression. My pulse is leaping mad. Believe me, I'm telling you truly. I'm gay without pause, and sad without cause. My spirit's all truly unworthy. For I'm falling in love with someone. Girl, I'm falling in love with someone
you. Mr. Gr Mr. Graydon, this is Miss Dorothy Brown from the Hotel Priscilla. We're gonna spend my lunch hour at the Mad Pat Beauty Spot. Miss Dorothy is gonna have her hair smartly bobbed. Bob? Your beauty? Oh, Mr. Graydon, behave. I bet you can make the moon and the stars behave. <coughs> Miss Dorothy's an actress, and I just thought with the way the theater's today, so You wouldn't rotten. rob a lucky stiff of playing with those adorable curls, would you? I only thought if she cut her hair Chuck that... it, John, just chuck it. <laughs> Mr. Graydon calls me John, Ms. you Dorothy, see, because... I'm going to take you out to dinner tonight and try to talk you out of doing mankind such a disservice. May I take the liberty of asking you to dine? You may. And afterwards, a little vaudeville at the Hippodrome. That is, if the comics are not on. Their humor can be altogether too ribald for a lady's ear. Uh, Millie, I think I'll keep my curls, at least until tonight. Instead, I have to find a suitable frog for this evening. Will we gilding the lily? Oh, hush, Mr. Graydon. Trevor. Trevor. Till tonight. 7.15? Sharp. That Miss Dorothy? Great Scott, that Miss Dorothy? Pretty as a peach and skin to beat the band. Perfect little pippin. Perfect. What a dandy little fellow for a bundle to cuddle. Dandy. Say, imagine all that sweet softness in your arms. Yes, well, make dinner reservations for the plaza. The candle nook room. A quiet corner table for two. I think Miss Dorothy's for the plaza, don't you? Oh, and John, flowers. Um, there's a florist around the corner from the hotel. I'll order from them. That's using the old bean. Roses. Pink. Two dozen. Two dozen. Long stemmed. Long stemmed. Plump. On the fat side. Psst. Over here. For God's sakes, Jimmy, what are you doing? How else am I supposed to see you? Old elbows has every door barricaded. That's what I told her. Take it back, or I'll jump. Jimmy! I'm not in the mood. It's been a rough day. Can I help? I don't know. You need a stenog? I'm quitting my job. Mr. Graydon isn't available. He's lost his heart to... Talk about your tangled web. He's fallen for a friend of ours. Miss Dorothy? Well, I'll be. Bitter? No, Jimmy, don't be. I don't blame her, I really don't. Mr. Graydon either. Love swamped him. We're too young to live a life of hate. I agree. So let's kiss and make up. Or maybe just make up. Perhaps our kissing wasn't the best idea. Or perhaps you prefer kissing Miss Dorothy. What are you saying? Don't deny it. I may have been giddy off champagne, but I saw you leaving her room. You have your wires crossed. Yes, I was in her room. I had to talk to somebody. An intimate conversation from the looks of it. As a matter of fact, it was. Oh, Millie, I've been so confused, so mixed up. Ever since you tripped me, my life's been topsy-turvy. Like now, for instance. What am I doing on a window ledge, hundreds of feet in the air? Good question. Do you mind answering it inside? You're making me nervous. No, thanks. I like the view. The world's different from up here, Millie. Better or worse? You tell me. <laughs> the same skyline I see every day. I'm talking 20 stories beneath us. Dozens of buses, hundreds of cabs, thousands of people way down below, wandering to and fro. Tireless people, no time to lose, crowding the avenues and parks on their marks, racing fast. Quite a cast, millions of people pick any two. They could be just like you and me, used to be way back when strangers then. I turned the corner. There you stood Your smile like home to me Your heart familiar No use pretending Not that I could I turned the corner When I
celebration. We'll do it upright. Champagne. Caviar. Lobster. A four-star joint so swank, they don't even put prices on the menu. I got it. Muzzy singing at Cafe Society. We'll go there. Deal. Dutch treat? Oh, no. Oh, yes. We'll pull what little money we have and blow it on a memorable meal. And if we don't eat again for a month, who cares? Me not. Don't miss my easy. No Everything seems lovely when you start to roam. The birds are singing the day that you stray, but wait until you are farther away. Things won't be so lovely when you're Oh 